I mean, no, it's six percent uh, and for the next two years. Two years, right. And then it big declines after, or then it's based on um, GDP, GDP growth. growth after yeah, that. That's minimum right. three percent. Um, yeah. People say some people say it's fair uh, because it's related to GDP. Yeah, but it's not about fair or unfair. It's about doing. It's about doing health care for a country like Canada, in in such a in such a poor way. Not talking with the provinces that have the knowledge and are actually they have the challenges that are delivering health care. Yeah. Uh, the process is completely flawed. We can't have 13 different health care systems in Canada, and that's that that's the destiny of the Harper approach. Each one reinventing the wheel, fending for themselves, uh, losing the benefits of working as a as an overall group. Uh, in Taiwan, which has almost the, I mean, it has two thirds the population of Canada, uh, they're working on this at a national level, and from what I could see, they're doing a better job. I mean, what British Columbian wouldn't like their dental care to be part of their uh, health insurance, yeah, their dead. MSP? <laughs> of course, we want that. I mean, what what British Columbian wouldn't want? home care for people to stay out of the hospital but get some assistance with their health care needs and have that covered by our, our medical system. That's happening in Taiwan. But we can't do those kinds of things. We can't transform our system in Canada with every province doing their own thing and the federal government essentially uh, stepping out of it and just dictating the terms of the funding. All right. Thank you very much for your time.